Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It is me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So, you know, it, it's funny because when I check my inbox, when I check my email, it's always the same question. People always tell me, I can't stand those widescreen top to bottom bars. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I'm like, I understand. I get it. If you have a small TV, if you have a 55 inch or 60 inch, those bars top to bottom, they're going to cut, you know, a little bit of that TV. And you want to have your TV in its full screen glory. That's why you have that 65 inch screen, right? You didn't buy a 65 inch screen so you can watch it in a, you know, top to bottom widescreen bar well if you have OLED it's very quick and it's very easy to do so now for the Samsung I have a video guys I have a video that I did last month when I was doing a splinter cell tests Xbox One X enhanced splinter cell enhanced gameplay I did that demo and I showed you guys how to do it. Those videos are out there. I have over 4,000 plus videos. I'm not going to make the same video over and over again. I have the video on Samsung Q8F and how to use uh, full screen mode. Now, if you have OLED, well, lucky you. With the OLED, it's very simple. All you have to do, click to the settings right here where it says aspect ratio aspect ratio and on the aspect ratio select the vertical zoom now why would you want the vertical zoom the vertical zoom what it does basically it stretches the picture out a little bit not too much but just a little bit now I want everybody to understand a couple of things I do not recommend that you watch like this let me repeat one more time. I, Mr. 4K Upscaler, do not recommend that you watch like this. But if you really need that full screen, if you truly need that full screen, then the vertical zoom is the best way to go. If you choose all direction zooms to cover top to bottom as well, then you're going to be missing half of this car. Look what happens. Here, let me show you. Look at that. Now you're missing half of this car. Now, if you've never seen this movie in its original ratio, then you're going to think, okay, this is acceptable, fine, whatever, I'm okay with this. Well, guess what? Look what you're missing. Oh, well, let me pause the video. Let me switch to the uh, old directional zoom. Let me show you how much you're missing. Now, to some people, this might not be a big deal. But for me, who wants to see the way film director intended the movie to be, I want to see everything. Okay. Now, the only reason I'm doing this video is because majority of you have asked me, hey man, I, I hate those, you know, or I dislike those top to bottom bars, ratio widescreen bars. I can't stand those bars, that tape that's from top to bottom I understand well this is something optional you wanna watch a movie like this if you wanna watch uh, the end game like this fine but I wouldn't recommend to do so now vertical zoom it's a bit stretched out but at least you're not missing the picture you are getting the entire picture of the movie so it's it's, it's a little bit better in my opinion than to be switching to uh, all directional. Well, here's a good uh, example. Like this is the vertical zoom, and I think vertical zoom is your best option. Uh, if I select to all directional zoom, I'll be missing Captain Marvel here a little bit, and I'll be missing this sign right here a little bit. Here, watch what happens. Look at that. The, 
the captain, the cap, Captain America is gone. You don't even see him. So this is why you don't want all directional zoom. And this is why I suggest a vertical zoom. With a vertical zoom, you're getting the exact same ratio that the movie was filmed. The only difference, it's a bit stretched out. Just a slightly little bit stretched out, but at least you're not missing the picture quality. I mean, you're not missing the this side of the movie. You're not missing the Captain Marvel. I mean, Captain America. <laughs> so, look, this is out of the question. Don't do don't ever use old directional zoom. I mean, I mean, what then? Why bother even watching the movie if you're gonna watch it like this? This is like the only option if you have to like if you if you have no choice and you can't stand uh, top to bottom bars and you want to watch in full screen this is your best option vertical zoom aspect ratio is your best option and even here in this scene by the way this is the OLED uh, everyone should know even in this scene you can see that it's not that bad you know it's not totally it's not like pulled out you know he doesn't look like his head you know tony stark doesn't look like a gum that's being stretched out okay there is a little bit of stretching but it's not terrible so vertical zoom is your like best honestly is your is your best option if you truly can't stand uh those bars now let me show you what bars i'm talking about let, let me show you what people are complaining about this is what people are complaining about and I understand your argument you know the movies are made to be in a big movies you know theater screen that's where the movies are the best experienced but if you have a big TV you're like hey man I didn't buy this big TV so I can have these bars top to bottom and I understand you want to move into something that will cover that screen so your best option is a vertical stretch or if you want to call it the way they call it vertical zoom aspect ratio which is right here right here that's what that is vertical zoom and it, it and in my opinion this is your best option now again I do not recommend that you watch this movie like this but if you can't stand those bars, then fine. This is like your best, best option to go with. So as you can see, you know, it doesn't look that bad. It's really not that bad. It doesn't look too stretched out. So this is your only option. Um, I mean, in my opinion, if you want my help, and if you truly can't stand the widescreen top to bottom bars, I think this is your best option if you have OLED. Now, for those of you who want to do this on the QLED, on a Samsung, I already have the video on that. Okay, the video is there. Same thing goes for the Sony 930E. Same thing goes for the TCL R617. I have those videos. Guys, you just need to search those videos. There's a reason why I have 4,000 plus videos. They're out there. You just got to search for them. Okay. So, this is your best option. Vertical zoom aspect ratio is your best option on the OLED. Okay. So, there you have it. Okay. Well, I hope this video uh, gives you some answers and helps you out. Remember, this only applies for those of you who have OLED. And the questions are from those of you who have the OLED. And vertical zoom is your best option. In my opinion. If you don't want to lose the side of the movie on the left and the right. And if you want to have that filled in, close to fill in on your TV. Well, there you have it. This is your best option. Vertical zoom. Have a good one, guys.